technical difficulties for those of us that are sitting here and just sitting in the space just knowing that you're here with us and I pray for anyone in here that is just considering accepting you into their hearts that they'll take that step that they'll pray that Jesus I know I need you I know I've lived my life without you and I don't want to do that anymore I want to be with you and I pray for everyone else in here too that we can just lean on you no matter what season of life we're in right now no matter what's going on outside of these walls that we can just embrace who you are and we love you Jesus it's in your name we pray amen amen we're going to sing a song. I just want you guys to reflect on these words. so that we can live in the freedom even though we make mistakes. And so as we get ready to take communion, if you need one of the communion packets, just slip your hand in the air. We've got um, some of our team, they'll come around, they'll be able to bring you a communion packet. We've got a couple down here that need some. Um, and, and as they bring those around, I, I want to say that, you know, for some of you, it may be that um, we, we need a couple here yet down here you know today may be that first time that you've said yes to that relationship that Jesus invites all of us into and if so then know that this is your first communion as a believer and it's something that we get the privilege to do it's a gift that Jesus gave us and and you know, I also, I love the fact that I know there are some of you here and you're investigating Christianity. You're trying to figure out what faith is about and, and what is it that, that Jesus has to offer? What is it God's giving us? And if you're here and you're questioning and asking, stay curious. But for right now, just kind of set this aside because communion is a time when, when those of us who have said yes, we recognize the sacrifice Jesus has made for each of us. And just allow yourself to listen to the words of what Jesus was saying. And, and as we prepare to take communion, I, I want those of us that have said yes to Jesus to picture yourself. We're actually referred to as his disciples. And it was at dinner when Jesus sat around a table with the apostles, with his disciples. And they sat there and, 
he was teaching them one more time. And so I want to picture your, let you picture yourself being seated with Jesus. Luke 22 says, when the time came, Jesus and the apostles sat down together at the table. Jesus said, I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. And you see, they're sitting there and, and Jesus knows what's to come. And we know what transpired because we've been able to read it. But his disciples, they're sitting there and they're, they're a little curious, like, what is he talking about? What, what, I don't get it. And he goes on and he says, for I tell you now that I won't eat this meal again until its meaning is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And they start pressing in a little bit more and they're, they're curious, going, Jesus, we don't understand. And we move on and he says, for I will not drink this wine again until the kingdom of God has come. And then as they're sitting there, he grabs a loaf of bread. And it says he took some bread and he gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it into pieces and gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so as you open this little packet and you take out the piece of bread, picture yourself as one of his disciples seated at the table 